My friends, welcome to this episode of Church at Home. Father Ed here. Father Michael. Father Dominic. And we are considering the, uh, for you poetry people, the penultimate uh, stanza of the uh, year of our Lord, 2023, uh, as the 33rd Sunday of Ordinary Time comes upon us. Next weekend is Christ the King, and that is, uh, obviously, it's a solemnity, and so it is not necessarily a Sunday in Ordinary Time. So, anyway, uh, this is the one last one before the end. So, <laughs> And we have the story of the talents, the master giving his uh, talents out to his three slaves or subjects, and he gives one one, gives next one five, and the next one ten. And so things go well, uh, pretty well, but there's some confusion. So, um, I don't know. Uh, so it normally draws me to um, two things. First, to consider how futile and what a waste of energy comparison is, especially in the spiritual life. Because for the three servants, uh, even though one had ten, five, and one, they all had what they needed. Um, Possibly in a mystery known only to the Master, or God, as to why things were divvied up this way, they still all had what they needed. And in fact, I think a single talent was like many years worth of working salary, so more than enough. So God is abundant, um, giving you, even the guy who had one, giving us more than what we need to do what he's inviting us to do. So no comparison. And then the second thing that it reminds me of is that uh, we aren't meant to be lazy in the spiritual life, that we're asked to build up or increase our master's house, as they were in the uh, in the parable, and not let our talents lie, not just leave them to do nothing just to give back, but to build up our master's house, the kingdom of heaven, through the use of whatever spiritual gifts we've been given. It's really the excuse of the last one also, is that he did what he did, or he didn't do what he yeah. didn't do out of fear. And uh, that often strikes most of us in daily life and in the world and even in spiritual life is that, you know, Jesus constantly and God before in the Old Testament is constantly reminding us not to be afraid. And so I think that's part of the secret of this thing as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think, you know, most of um, the followers of, of Jesus were ill-equipped and underqualified. Uh, and so Jesus probably, you know, was speaking to all of his followers who felt reticent to act, to, um, you know, do the wonderful things that Jesus was calling them to do. You know, uh, The Chosen has a great scene where Jesus commissions the, the 12 apostles to go um, go out to preach and heal. And, um, you know, reading the passage, you might um, not uh, Im imagine the, the, their human reactions, but the Chosen does a good job at showing these guys are just like me. You know, I, I, I believe in you, Jesus, but like, you want me to do this? And so I think oftentimes we as believers feel like we're, um, we're underqualified that, you know, we're not able to do incredible things. And so we just kind of lay low, like, oh, well, I'd, I'd love to see the parish do this, but I, that's, not, that's not for me to do. Or I'd, I'd love to, you know, see this friend uh, come back to church or um, start praying, but I, I, I'm not the one to, to, you know, preach or to, to bring them in and to be Christ to them. And so I think this, with this reading especially, God's calling um, each, all of us, even though we feel lacking, um, that we're meant to do great things with whatever, whatever we have. I've uh, oftentimes seen this little poster that says, God does not call, call the qualified, he qualifies the call. So um, that might be uh, the lesson that I'm thinking of is that uh, God never calls us to anything in life for which he has not already given us the grace and the gifts, same thing as grace, I guess, uh, to accomplish that. 
So you may be in the circumstance, I may find myself in the circumstance that I'm wondering, why is God not helping me to do this thing that I have been called to do? And so that does take some serious uh, discernment as to say, well, maybe the fact that I don't seem to have the gifts and I am not finding the grace to accomplish this, you know, it may make me go back and reconsider, well, was this from God in the first place? So, um, so maybe you're frustrated, maybe you're uh, tired, maybe you feel like you're banging your head against the wall, or maybe you're feeling like Father Dominic was saying is that uh, you'd like to see things happening in the world, but you don't think you're up to it. Uh, in all of those cases, uh, I think uh, Father Michael's uh, original um, input here is that uh, God always gives us the sufficiency of his grace and love to accomplish that which is truly his will for us. And so we probably should stop being afraid and start discerning what is God calling us to, and then have the faith and the courage to do it. And that's where true happiness is going to be found. It's when we, we get this idea in our head that I'm going to be this, or I'm going to do that, and we build up um, our own dreams, agnostic of ever asking, what does God want of me? And when we pursue those things and try to force it, and if it doesn't work, we find ourselves empty and sad. And even if it does work, and we succeed in whatever we've dreamt up for ourselves, we still might feel empty and incomplete because it's not what we've been commissioned or called to do. It's when we follow God's designs, when we're using the talents, and the vocational paths that he's provided for us, that's when we're happy, happy, joyful. That's when we're, that's when you feel joy. You know, I stopped at, I used to ask all the kids, I'd come in and ask kids, I said, all right, do you ever think uh, you'd like to be a priest? And inevitably, about 99.9% .9 of those kids say, oh, no, I want to be an NFL player. I want to be this or I want to be that. Uh, I stop. I don't ask kids that anymore. What I ask them is, have you ever considered that uh, Jesus might be calling you to become a minister of his church? That's a different answer. It's hard for a kid to say, oh, no, Jesus doesn't want me to be a minister in his church. Why? Really? Uh, so... Uh, Maybe we all ought to take a step back and say, well, what is God calling me to? And uh, if we can be sure of what God's will is for us, then we can be confident in his grace and his gifts to accomplish it. And then we'll do it with joy. Hmm. Yeah. All right. Let's do it. Take Pray care. It.